Hi, this is Mesa, and you're watching PPI's ARE video series to help you review for your ARE exam. Let's get started. So um, we're looking at for construction and evaluations, uh, and specifically at the site visit. So in this case, um, the lesson you will learn uh, the architect's role to accept or reject work, and then some basic masonry wall terminology. So the problem that was selected is during a weekly job site visit, the architect notices that a mason has used troweled joints on an exposed exterior masonry wall instead of the weather struck joints that were specified. In the interest of practicality, the architect should a, reject the wall and have it rebuilt. B, accept the change because there is little difference in the two joints. C, accept the change because there is no practical way to modify trowel joints. Or D, reject the work and have the mason trowel additional mortar over every horizontal joint. So let's go through these one by one. The first thing that you should do is see if there's any that you can eliminate directly off the bat. So in this case, C, accept the change because there's no practical way to modify trial joints is wrong, not because there's no way to modify trial joints, but because uh, you don't want to accept the change. Um, you don't, you basically, you don't want to accept inferior work. And so anytime the mason is gonna have to go and do something that is, is not the full quality of the work, then that is uh, taking away from what the, uh, owner and the contractor signed in the contract documents. So we can eliminate C right off the bat. Also, accept the change because there is little difference in the two joints. We can uh, eliminate that one right off the bat as well because there's clearly a difference between the two joints. And we'll, we'll look at that uh, in a little bit more deta detail later on. Um, but that gives you two answers. And so now we're down to a, an either or scenario, which is, is where you wanna be on all the questions initially. And then obviously, you know, you wanna have one very correct answer, but it's good to get it down at least eliminate some right off the bat. So now we have reject the wall and have it rebuilt. Um, this brings up the word practicality that they use in the question. And so in D, reject the work and have the mason trowel additional mortar over every horizontal joint. Uh, you know, there's some level of practicality there, but it's, it's not uh, enough to justify um, allowing, allowing this to happen. Because again, back to the previous explanation, we can't accept inferior work because that's not what was agreed on in the contract documents. This is also something that is a technical question that is probably more suited for somebody that is specifically trained in masonry work and not something that an architect wants to make a call on and then have that be their responsibility if it fails. And so we can now eliminate D as well. And so really the only answer that you're left with is to reject the wall and have it rebuilt, which, you know, it, it uh, initially in the interest of practicality might throw you off, but this is really the only answer. So now if we look at what the joints are that they're talking about, um, we have a trowel struck joint uh, right here. And one of the issues with this and you know the specific problem with this question is they clearly say that it's an exposed exterior masonry wall that's gonna have, have weather hitting it directly. And so the problem with uh, the trowel joint is that water can build up right on this little area here, and then you, you end up getting a crack and losing some of the face of that brick right below there. Uh, if, you know, if it goes through any freeze thaw, freeze thaw cycles or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, the weather struck joint over here doesn't have that issue. And so this is why that joint was identified in the uh, specification. And this is the one that we need the uh, contractor to install. So in this lesson, we've talked a little bit about the architect's role in accepting and rejecting work. And we've also talked about uh, some basic masonry wall terminology. Thank you for watching. We really want your feedback so we can continue to improve these videos. So please email us at the address shown with any comments you have. Thanks again and best wishes for your exam studies.